These are 10 ways to take care of your curly hair, starting off with number one. Use DIY hair masks. I use a hair mask only once a week and it's only four ingredients. Mayonnaise, coconut oil, eggs, and honey. Mix. It should look something like this. Oh, the smell is awful. Now we gotta leave this hair mask in for 30 minutes. A lot of you are probably wondering right now, why isn't he wearing a normal hair mask? It's because now I know 100% what I'm putting into my hair. Every one of us is already using so many different products that have so many chemicals in them that we have no clue what they even do to our hair. I already use on a daily basis curl creams, mousse, and a lot of other products. So if you can use a DIY hair mask instead of an already finished one, do it. It's funny to even mix these four ingredients together and to see the process of something you made because you basically made your own hair mask. And I started using this hair mask about a few months ago, once a week. And look how much my hair improved. Look how shiny it looks. And using hair masks in general once a week has so many benefits. It adds hydration to your hair. It reduces frizz. It improves your scalp health and so many more benefits. So make sure to start using hair masks. I have to wait 25 more minutes till I wash this out and in the meantime I'm already gonna do a hair tip that I will tell you guys later about <laughs> 25 minutes later it is time to wash out the hair mask Use a scalp scrubber when washing. Using a scalp scrubber is super important if you want healthy hair. And it is super important to use one especially after that hair mask. Unless you like the taste of egg, coconut oil, mayonnaise and honey. Then I guess don't use a scalp scrubber. Jokes aside. Using a scalp scrubber really cleans up the buildup you have in your hair. I used to use always only my hands. But using a scalp scrubber is way better. And using a scalp scrubber is also important for the health of your scalp. Because you know what a healthy scalp means? A healthy scalp means... Exactly, healthy hair. And using it is like a spa day for your hair. I mean, look at my face. This is so, oh, it's like a head massage and you just rubbing all over your hair. This feels so good. This is my spa day. No, not my spa day. It's actually a spa day for my scalp. And another benefit of using this is the products you apply later to your hair can be absorbed better because you have a healthier scalp. And a healthier scalp is healthier hair. Time to wash this out. Always have clean styling products. Damn, my hair feels so clean and fresh now. I mean, is there anything better than brushing your freshly washed hair? Yes, there is something better. And that is to clean your brush before you use it on your freshly washed hair. Uh, I definitely gotta clean this one because I haven't done that in a week. The first step is to take out all the hairs. There weren't a lot of hair cut up in here because my hair isn't that long. But the ladies will definitely have more hair in their brush. So now that all the hair is gone, it is time to fill up the sink with warm water. Now before I put in the brush, I add my favorite shampoo into the water. And now we clean the brush with our hands. And a little extra tip if you want your brush to be super clean. Use an old toothbrush. Because look, you can go here in between, rub everything and clean your brush. And once you feel your brush is clean, just leave it in here for about 15 minutes and then come back. And here an extra tip how you never forget to clean your brush. So whenever you have your wash day, and I already said that in a bunch of videos, wash your hair only once a week. So whenever you have that wash day, you also clean your brush, it becomes a routine. And while I wait for the brush, I'm gonna do another hair tip that I will tell you guys later about. back home after that walk and it is time to take out the brush time to wash it out with some water make sure that all the shampoo is gone i'm gonna leave this here and let it air dry and while i let this air dry i'm gonna go over to step four using the right products what bro how is it so dark it was still bright like 10 minutes ago and it is only 4 30 p.m bruh i hate daylight savings 
that you do not have the right product. Does this ever happen to you? I feel like I never find anything in a store. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna order online. I feel like we all can agree on this one. Ordering online is so much easier. The only thing that sucks is that you have to wait for your products to arrive. But why is it so important to use hair products? And especially the right ones. Because using the right hair products can literally make your hair either a 1 out of 10 if you use bad hair products or a 10 out of 10 if you use the right hair products. So based on the products you need, you should order them. Let's say you have curly hair. If you have curly hair, I would recommend a curl cream, a mousse, heat protection, a leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner works super good. And hair oil. These are five products that I use and these products are made for my hair. Maybe some people need less products. Some straight hair only need styling wax or a gel. It really depends on the hair type and how you want your hair to look. But the key factor is to order the right products. And if you don't know what products you should order, it's okay. It also took me a while to figure out which products I really need for my hair. All the products I use are linked in the description. Okay, let's order these products. Okay. What was that? Who is that? What? Damn, Amazon is so fast with delivering. <laughs> Hydration is key. I already washed my hair earlier, but now it is super dry again. And the key factor to get super good curls is hydration. So I gotta re-wet my hair. Hydration is so important. I couldn't imagine doing my hair dry. For really, really good curls, you need hydrated curls. So having hydrated curls is not just a preference, it's a necessity when it comes to embracing the natural beauty of your curls. Yeah, I guess my hair is hydrated now and that leads me right away to step number six. Know how to style your hair. This part is so important because when I first let my hair grow out, I literally had no clue how to style my hair. And how are you gonna have good looking curls if you do not know how to style them? I mean, just look at one of these pictures. Oh my God, my curls looked so bad back then. So for the first year of me showing off my curls, I messed up. 100% because I had no clue. I grew my hair out for the first time and I started realizing, damn, you have curls, but I had no clue how to style them. And I don't want that the same thing happens to you. Nobody showed me how to get the best curls, but that's why it happened to me. So once I have all the products I need in my hair, I start scrunching. Scrunching is the first part of my styling routine. And you know, you have enough product in your hair when it sounds like this. Anyone with curls is gonna tell you that scrunching is the most important part if you wanna get the most out of your curls. Because scrunching makes your curls even curly. But there are also a lot of other styling methods like finger coiling that basically works like this. You take one strand, twist it around your finger and pull it down. But it doesn't really work for my curls. But if you have curlier hair than me, you should definitely try finger coils. Yeah, I keep scrunching because for the first year I had my curls, I never scrunched. I didn't know that styling technique. So that is a huge point why my curls never looked good. I just put product in, but I always forgot to scrunch. After all that scrunching, it comes down to how you want your hair to look. Do you want it straight into your face like I have? Do you want it ah, slick back? Do you want the middle part? So what I do most of the times for my curls, I have them straight into my face. I feel like that's the easiest way to style them, just letting them hang down into my face. And after all that scrunching, my next styling tip is to shake your head. I'm trying to achieve the messy type of look with my curls. So shaking your head is really, really good if you want that messy look because you loosen up all your curls and you basically let them free. Let them do whatever they want. This is what my hair looks now, super wet, but I can't leave my hair like this. So we gotta go over to step number seven. Protect your hair from heat. I only do this whenever I'm in a rush and right now I'm in a rush. So I gotta use some heat protection. Heat protection is so important for curly hair. I mean, especially for every hair type, but as I already said earlier, curly hair tends to be more dry and we want to have the least amount of dryness. Heat protection is basically a shield for our curls. It protects our curls from the heat when we diffuse them. It reduces a lot of stress on our curls. It's basically like an insurance policy for your curls. So by using heat protection, you can heat style and keep all the moisture and shine in your curls. And that's what I'm gonna do. And these are the results of diffusing. 
eating healthy. Having a healthy diet is the key to having good hair. I'm about to make some chicken burritos. These chicken burritos are super high in protein, have a good amount of carbs and are low in fats. Nutrient rich fruits have the building blocks that your hair needs to thrive. So if you wanna have strong hair, you need to have enough protein in your diet. That's why I have this chicken here. Not only your muscles need proteins to get strong, also your hair does. A lack of protein in your diet can lead to weakened hair. I would recommend you to eat at least three times a day and you should split up your proteins over all three meals. For healthy hair, we also need vitamins and minerals. Vitamin E found in nuts and seeds nourishes the scalp and promotes healthy blood circulation. Omega-3 fatty acids are also very important to have in your diet. The meal I'm making right now contains no omega-3 fatty acids and that's why I'm gonna supplement them with my meal. Omega-3 is found in fatty fish and walnuts. So if you want to have a shiny scalp, omega-3 is your best thing. Iron and zinc, which are found in lean meats, are essential to prevent hair loss. Eating a lot of unhealthy foods and snacks can stress and weaken your hair. Look at this beautiful meal. And what I also wanted to add on, you don't have to change your diet from this second on. The best thing you can do is you slowly change up your diet. And I would recommend you to set a goal. Let's say three months from now, you only want to have five processed foods in your diet. And then three months from that point, you only have three processed foods in your diet and you go lower and lower. And that is the best approach how we can do it because I didn't change up my diet like this. It was a slow process. Cheers. Take care of your mental health. Taking care of your mental health is so underrated. No one really talks about this, but it is another key factor to have healthy hair. I have various activities to do to have good mental health like I did earlier in this video. Did you realize I was reading a book or I was going for a walk? Reading always calms me down whenever I feel stressed, sad, or just in general, not good. And going for a walk does the same thing to me. But there's one thing you should do when you are on a walk. Please do not use headphones. Whenever you're on a walk, just enjoy the natural sounds. I always see it like I wanna connect to mother nature more. I mean, all of us, we're already way too much on our phones. So whenever I do any of these activities, I really try to focus just on the activity and put the phone to the side not look on my phone and these things are really simple to do like reading meditating working out going for a walk these things are really simple and if you do these things on a daily basis you're gonna have way better mental health and you have good mental health you're less stressed and being less stressed and feeling good equals better hair protecting your hair while sleeping in the past, I never cared about keeping my hair safe at night. But look how good my hair looked the next day after I wore this silk sleeping cap. I couldn't believe it. In general, there are multiple ways how you can protect your hair while sleeping. Number one, as you can see, a silk sleep cap. I have it on. Or number two would be a silk pillowcase. I'm not that far yet, but I definitely should get a silk pillowcase. And the best thing about silk pillowcases is that it's not just good for your hair. So if you are having troubles with your skin, I would most definitely recommend you using a silk pillowcase because then your hair will be good and your skin. The main problem every one of us has when we sleep is that we twist and turn basically like this. So whenever you twist and turn and you do not have something like this on, your hair rubs against the thread fibers in the pillow. And that is really bad for your hair. Unless you like frizzy and dry damaged hair. I'm really excited to see how your hair will look in the future if you start implementing all of these ways to take care of your curly hair. Good night and make sure to watch this video. If